today we are going to go over the dumbbell clean and press. So you might see this if you participate in any of our SGT classes. If your trainer gives you some conditioning or if you're doing some work on your own, this is a really good movement to do. So I'm going to have my two dumbbells. The key is to pick something that is moderately heavy. So from here I'm going to hinge, hips going back, knees bent. I'm going to tap my dumbbells to the floor and then using momentum I'm going to push with my legs I'm gonna pop them up to my shoulders. So catching with bent knee, so this tiny little power position. And then I'm gonna add in the press. So dip and press. So all together from the floor, pop it up to the shoulders, full extension overhead. So the biggest thing that we see here is if you do not choose a heavy enough weight, you can go like this. I'm not using any hip power, so if I show you from the side, from here, pop the hips, drop under it, then go into your press. If I can curl my dumbbells to my shoulder, a little bit too light. So you wanna think about keeping it close, dropping under, going into the press. So the other variation I'm gonna show you of the clean and press is a hang clean and press. So hang just means that you're not going all the way to the floor. If you've ever done a kettlebell swing, it's very similar. I'm gonna do this with one hand. So separating the feet just a little bit. Between the knees, my hips go back. I'm gonna pop it up, bend, and press. Other arm stays out to the side for balance. Switch, pop, and up. So notice I'm keeping it really close, dropping under, pressing up. I'm not letting it come out and then crash. I'm also not curling. So, pop, drop, press. So, next time you show up to one of my classes, I'm going to be going around checking dumbbells, making sure they're heavy enough for the dumbbell clean and press.